beautiful. We've made it to the Thousand Trails campground so that we can register for the upcoming auction on August 3rd for the Allegro bus by Tiffin. What you're going to hear next are some excerpts of the conversation we had with the park manager. Great. So the, the stipulation is on the 3rd. Okay. Uh, from 10 to 11, I'll let people go in there and look at it. Okay. Be real quick because right now I got like 12 people on the list. So. Okay. Just an hour and then one o'clock we're gonna meet out here. Okay. In the park lot. Okay. And if you're not registered, you're not gonna bid. If you don't have a mask, you're not gonna bid. Okay. If you don't stay six feet apart from each other, you're not gonna bid. Okay. That's the only rules. Okay. okay. And the bid probably will start around nine thousand, nine ninety nine hundred, somewhere around there. Okay. Because the company looks to get their money back from being uh, annual. And size. then how long do you know how long it's been sitting there empty? Uh, two, almost two years. Almost two years it's been sitting empty. Yeah, so you know, most likely, if you win the bid, what do you plan to do? Register in California? So we have a uh, a friend, our neighbor, that works for a collision company and has all the mechanics and everything to get it. You know, we'll power it up, see if we need to change the diesel out of it to oh, yeah. move it. All the, my recommendation, all filters need to be changed. Okay. Uh -huh. Tires need to be changed. That's The tires alone is going to run you about 20000 yeah right. okay okay and then the filters oil change diesel especially you want to get the filters changed because after a while the, the, the filters create mold okay so you want to get all that taken care of okay i only have the key to get in it i do not have the key to the ignition oh, okay, okay so we have to have a someone a locksmith come out yeah to you give us the uh a key like that probably run you about 500 bucks okay, okay. Um, then you need to get batteries first. If, right. If you win the bid, you got to get the batteries first so the locksmith can figure out to program the carpet, then mm -hmm. the hard floor. Right. So the carpet probably, I would replace that. We thought that as well. And then um, the back has a washer and dryer in the back in the bedroom. And, okay. Um, I'm just thinking what I saw last. Thank but, you. Um, yeah, but the, I, the I, engine in that thing alone is worth the ten thousand dollars. Oh yeah. I mean yeah. blue book on that rig is about a hundred five. Okay. 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 So right now I have the pink strip under thousand trails. So oh, okay. whoever wins, I have to do all the paperwork, sign it over, represent the thousand trails. This is you. I do a release of liability on online saying it's sold to you. Okay. And then we're we wash yeah. our hands. Okay. 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 All right, so we're on the list. We don't need to do anything else but show up at ten o'clock, have to wear a mask, social distance. Yeah, all ten o'clock is just to see the rig inside. Yep, and no we one? just meet over at the location. Yeah, I'll be at, for, at, yeah, okay. at ten o'clock. So I'll be there Monday. Okay, perfect. So it should be should, it's an hour and then at one o'clock at the store parking lot. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much, Thank Jeff. You, Jeff. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank okay, you, thank you. Too. Hi, good morning. That is the update on the auction that's coming up. We are now registered for the auction. We're all ready to go. On the day of the auction, we are going to have an opportunity to go inside the rig, check it out. It's going to be pretty quick, but at least we can go in and see the condition, get a better idea of, um, you know, what type of work is going to need to go into it, things like that. And then the auction is that day at one o'clock. I'm so what excited. Day? August 3rd, which is a Monday. It's, it is Monday. Monday. It's Monday. Yeah. So, um, coming up. I'm so excited. I've never done anything like this. It's going to be so much fun just to know and be there and be a part of it. It's going to be really exciting. Are you signed up for the auction, Geeseys? You gonna try to outbid me? Do so you have a place to live? Huh? Yeah, they just turn their backs on me and walk away. They don't even want me to know how much money they have available. They know they're gonna try to win it. Well, the first thing it's gonna need is a $500 bath. But we also know, in addition to that, it's going to need a new battery, new filters, and we're going to have to have a key made for the ignition. 
and then we'll go from there. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Continuing on with our day, we're gonna get a Blitzer's frozen yogurt. Yum. Oh, it's so busy. Yeah, it's too busy. I don't wanna go in there. Yeah, it's really too busy. You wanna get a treat at the store instead? Yeah, it's way too busy. I'm not going in there. It's not even safe. No, there's a lot of people. We've settled on Butterfinger Bites from Stater Brothers. Now let's go pay for them. We've made it to the campground and I know you just saw us buying Butterfingers and popcorn at Stater Brothers, but we are here tonight to go for a walk because during COVID, we have been eating the same as we were before COVID, but we haven't been able to go to Disneyland and walk before we were there almost three times a week, walking so many miles and staying in such good shape. So now instead of coming to the campground and having dinner and a movie, we are coming to the campground and walking our butts off because we have to get ourselves back in shape because eventually Disneyland is gonna open again and we've gotta be ready for it. So we're walking. Riley goes for a little walk with us too, but then we have to take turns carrying him from time to time. Then when we get back, we will have earned a little snack <laughs> of popcorn and Butterfingers. That's the tent section. They're intense because they're intense. What? <laughs> they're intense because they're intense. <laughs> they're intense because they're intense? Yeah. That's so intense. Right? <laughs> Come on, Mary. Let's, look at let's, let's not get run over. No, let's not. <laughs> In a previous video, we showed you the greenery over here and told you that as far as the eye could see, they were growing pumpkins. Well, I will tell you that in the past, every year that we've been coming here, this area was in fact growing pumpkins. However, this year, it is not pumpkins, it's watermelons as far as the eye can see. He's spraying out there. Oh, I see that. Last night, right up here along this edge, he's spraying bug spray or something. And I don't think this camera, this cam, the, the GoPro is so wide. But way out there, you can see he's spraying. All right, coast go, is clear. Go, go, go. Car coming with no headlights on. It's getting dark and the GoPro doesn't do so well once it starts getting dark. So we're gonna go ahead and end our video here. I hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna pick up the pace and continue on our walk. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. <laughs> exactly, thank you. <laughs> she said, give us a thumbs up. People around here are so cool. It's so amazing. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs>